I'm back again. 2.14 p.m. Excuse me. Oh. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't even have to yawn when I first pressed record. But um, my sleep was a little bit better last night. Last night. Well, after... I, I guess I got done doing those other videos at about close to 3.15 in the morning. So 3.15, I guess I went to bed. And then I think I woke up at 9.30 and then tried to go back to sleep but couldn't. Oh, they hit me with the energy weapons. So in my back... I mean, the back of my neck, they're vibrating the shit out of the back of my neck. So anyway, um, now that I mention it, now they stop. So anyway, um, a, a loud vehicle was passing by, and, and so... Uh, I mean earlier and so I didn't even get to film or, or record you know the it's like the bass was ridiculously loud so loud that I heard it over my earbuds so I feel like as if I'm tired and still need more sleep <clears throat> so One thing I, I realized, I guess I got to be careful online. Well, it's like, I just want to stay out of trouble. I mean, I just want to stay out of trouble and keep the peace. And I don't want war, to be warring back and forth, like having war and fighting with people. So, you know, I guess it's better to just stay by yourself. But, you know, I've been feeling like I need somebody to talk to because of, you know, the way I've been feeling about what I've been going through. But I guess after early this morning, you know, I helped myself feel better by just, you know, venting out my feelings. And so, um... We're living in some evil, cold-hearted, evil times. <clears throat> and, and it's like, it really amazes me, like, how people think that they can be a better Christian than you. Or they can, they talk the, that lingo like a Christian. And then still single you out and exclude you. Or, you know, choose favoritism. And, and it's mind-boggling how, how people try to make you feel like the worst Christian or the worst believer. Or try to tear down your your faith and beliefs, and then, you know. So, I wanted to kind of elaborate on what I talked about in the middle of the night and try to um, clarify the idea of you hear stories about more and more professed, you know, Christians or targeted individuals taking bribes and selling out and some of the first ones or the main ones who swear that they never would and then next thing you know they drop out of sight for a couple of years and then they go back I mean then they come around and act like a bully or a perp so so it's like I was trying to say that all these people who think that they're invincible or think that they're strong enough that, you know, they would never take a deal or never take a bribe or never sell out or cave in. And what this gang stalking is doing, I have my proof on my channel. I have my proof on my channel. And what the gang stalking is, um, <clears throat> they're trying to eat. They, you, the gang stalkers want your soul. They, they're chasing after your soul. And it's a battle for your soul. Ultimately, spiritual battle. So the, the gang stalkers really, they are after your soul. 
and, and, you know, stop thinking, trying to act like as if you're invincible. And, you know, humble yourself and try as best as you can to not cave in. But they got these people walking around like as if they're arrogant about how, oh, I would never sell out. Like they think they're invincible or something. But the ones who are arrogant, they show, like the Bible said, you will know them by their fruits. They're showing their fruits that they're bearing are showing exact tactics of what a mind controlling gang stalker would do. So, but then it's a big, a lot of confusion and people don't know who to believe because they would rather believe the majority smear campaigning and lying on you. And then, you know, stones being thrown at you and you being singled out. And so it, it really amazes me how if you profess to be Christian and I haven't done you anything and, you know, I try to offer my support and get shunned for it by you for no reason. And then, and then you still go talking about God or talking about being an empowered individual or chosen one. And I was trying to convey the other night that I mean in the middle of the night that 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 you know the empower individuals and chosen one it's like one big the popular fake cult so um a, a, a lot of the I, I mean it's like a lot of the popular fake chosen ones they they dabble into new age not all of them, but some of them do. New age and occult. So, um, I have to be careful that sometimes people try to mix Christian and new age and they're arrogant and high-minded and prideful and narcissistic about glorifying themselves as, you know, chosen ones. Wow, they're perping and, and damaging and abusing people who are who have a humble spirit. You know, you build me up just to tear me down. Or you do love bombing and trauma bonding. And, you know, and then after you get hateful and turn against me or betray me, and me just freaking out and trying to figure out why, then you make it like I'm the um, obsessed, crazy, you know, obsessed, crazy weirdo who just stalking you and won't leave you alone or can't leave you alone. So my, my best thing is all I have is God to lean on because nobody's a friend nowadays. Nobody's a friend. And so... So it's like how people try to say on the internet that realize, no, um, you know, wait a minute, real eyes, real lies, real lies, but not always true because they have people who claim to be for the truth, but they're still blind or they still don't have a lot of, you know, the proper discernment, but they think they do. But they really don't. <clears throat> and so, um, I, I, I mean, it seems like, you know, how, how they say that some American Christians have what's called, I, I think when people talk about the Babylonian spirit or trying to say, you know, get out of Babylon. Or if the Bible says, come out from, from among them and be ye separate. Or, you know, come out of her, my people. And and that's like the popular fake religious narcs out there. You, you know. And so it seems like. But then again, it's kind of difficult because they have Hebrews 10 and 25. Forsaken, not assembling. I don't remember exact word for word, but, you know, Hebrews 10 and 25. 
and and people use that to justify oh well, why you have to go to church and so um it's easier for people to be fake on the internet because i guess on the internet you know they have less accountability on the internet so in person people still do their dirt but it's not as i guess prevalent is the right word um you know it, it's not as big and you, you know it's like and it's easier for people to not care about you or to let less to care less about you because they know that they will never see you in person if somebody is in um you know in the state of colorado I'm pretty sure I never set foot in Colorado for my for, for as long as I've lived, maybe. But you know, if somebody, if I know somebody from on the internet that's from, you know, Boulder, Colorado, what are the chances of me to meet that unless they come over here? And which that's probably not even a, you know, it's probably a slim chance. So. Um, but it's easier for people, I mean, but then again, it's funny because people will act like as if they love and care so much about the chief narc who's spreading the smear campaigns. And, and you know, they're the biggest cheerleaders and cult followers going to bat for and defending the chief narc. And, um, you know, if they can whine about being abused all day and then yet call themselves a narcissistic abuse life coach. You know, but then, you know, I noticed these new age fake T.I. per narcissistic abuse life coaches that got their clout. They got their clout and money and they sold their soul. They sold out and became big headed once they got a lot more followers and then they get money now. And then, you know, for you to just reach out to share your experiences then they shun and block you and call you an attention seeking clout chaser when that's not what you're trying to do so now i've been talking because i've had that experience on facebook that all these people on facebook pretend to be narcissistic and it's like in the narc abuse victim community on facebook and quora they all huddled together against me you know, I'm not even on Facebook or Quora anymore. And so they all huddled together against me. And then, um, you know, they, they huddled together. And then, um, you know, the, it's like the, the fake narcissistic abuse victim community. They're all narcs pretending to be victims. And then the real victim is smeared as the smear campaign as the one who's the narc that's the abuse of narc and it's like just like the devil knows the bible so well just like the devil knows the bible so well <clears throat> narcissistic abuse fake victims they know that lingo so well you know the fake life coaches they got expert knowledge on how narcissism operates yet they're the narcs pretending to be victims and so with the so-called TI community, the, you know, they have fake TI perps that are, they go around perping and abusing people while pretending to be targeted. And then, you know, they act like one elitist click and then single me out or any, uh, anybody else who's one of the true ones. They'll single us out and make us look to look bad while they huddle together and then they act like they're crying about being abused so um and they cry acting like as if they want to get the u.n the united nations to hear their cries about this gang stalking program when you you're perping you're getting paid to perp and abuse and because you have a big cult following nobody's gonna listen to little people like me who expose what you do and then I made to look like even more crazy, 
because you're popular and well liked and, and then you know but the little old little you know little people like me nobody will it's like you know they'll make like how dare you speak against against this person that's like when you see in Hollywood I forgot which one of those celebrities was a um Hollywood a famous Hollywood pedophile or whatever and then somebody recently came back came out and said that well and I think he recently died and then some somebody said that well he molested me or he did this or that to me <clears throat> and then they were like well this person would never be known to do this but you know they're so stealthy and um so clandestine with their um you know with their tactics and that that they try to remain undetectable so it's like it's very hard what he what he said she says stuff on the internet because if somebody think you're out to do something or that you're doing something but they don't see what you're doing physically in in your daily life and but you know they think that they can just assume and guess that you're just a horrible person or one of the worst people <clears throat> and so um people say that money changes people and so basically if you um like that video that i just recently did before this one somebody was saying that that narcissistic fake healing day by day perp the fake life coach now she's one now she's tapping into the talk about gang stalking and i'm like don't you dare you know so if you're talking about gang stalking just because you know people are waking up to the truth and and now you feel like your your money supply is being threatened so now you want to pretend to cry about being gang stalked no, you ain't, you ain't seen nothing yet. You you don't you, you're not being poisoned and burned and vibrated and for sleep deprived. So don't even don't even go there. But I, I'm seeing that a lot of these fake narcissistic abuse victim life coaches they're exploiting real victims for financial gain. And then you know and then they're high they already you know got a cult following that you know their loyal cult cheerleaders you know you you better not dare speak against them so i've seen even professed celebrities like j cole swore up and down he's never gonna sell out and uh, and um and a few other celebrities who said that they ain't gonna sell out well then you're doing videos with whore beyonce with snakes in it but you say you never you swore up and down you're never gonna sell out me I, i'm glad i was strong enough to not give in and, and so it's like i don't want to become high-minded and arrogant <clears throat> to think i'm too good you know i'm so it's like one thing i'm just fighting as best as i can against caving in so i mean the last no you know what the last offer was made to me was by jay demon rotten shit and i turned that down too she was trying to make an offer to try to get me to sell out and then the thing is she wanted me to be her living slave hell no and you're a female what do i look like but you know I guess it was easier for me because you already were my enemy and purpose me. So I recognize that and will not and I will never trust you. Just like I would never trust Alex Dupree. I would never trust Starbreaker and a lot of other, you know, perps online and in person. I would never trust y'all. So I guess since I already already know that you're perps, I mean they tried what they could to beat me into submission and people were saying that they applaud me for how sh that i'm sh i mean because i'm sitting here thinking i'm such a weak person 
you know, and I don't, I'm fighting against, you know, I'm praying against, you know, I don't want to cave in or sell out. And plus, the times is just too, it's too late. It, for me, I think it's too late. Because everything is about to shut down and come to a close. And it's happening at a faster speed. So, you, you know, I know what side I'm on. And I don't want to, I don't want to be wishy-washy. But I, I've noticed that these people who was be, swear up and down, oh, I'm not selling out after they already did. And so I just wanted to make it plain that I have not sold out. I have not taken any, I have not reject. I mean, I'm sorry. I have not accepted any bribes or deals. I have rejected them all. And so, I mean, the tax refund money is holding me over for, you know, just a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks, that's it. And then after that, I might, I mean, by, I'm, I'm assuming that by mid-April, I'm, hope, I'm hoping to not have to be back on the streets. But this was all on my own doing, you know, <clears throat> with the job that I had. But then again, you know, me getting a little bit of donations here and there, you know, to help just keep me, just enough to keep me afloat and keep me here in this motel room and thanks y'all thanks for that <clears throat> and so I'm just wanting to um stay out of trouble and um I'm, I'm not going to try to seek out new friends I mean I'm feeling a little bit better after um venting my feelings out because I started to really lose my mind and go crazy about the things that <clears throat> the TIs who flipped and became perps, the damage that they've done is worse than the regular perps. And it's mind-boggling. I don't understand it. So, um, how people say that, you, you know, you're humble and nicer and more respectful when you don't have that much support. But then after you sell out, um, which... Healing day by day, she sold out. So don't don't come here talking about you being gang stalked. <clears throat> so if you and, and then all of a sudden a person gained a large following after selling out, and then they get big headed and act narcissistic because that's like a fake spiritual re rebirth, the occult new age re rebirth. That's a counterfeit and mockery to the Christian being born again. So the Christian being born again, you know, you try to better yourself as a, a Christian and try to serve Jesus Christ and try to love others, you know, try it, at least try it, but it's so hard with this being in this targeting program, make you hate everybody. It, it really does. But you, you know, you try to battle against it and then feel like you want to give up and battle against hating people. And you feel like you want to give up on trying to trying to um, be nice to people or trying to you know still do good and be helpful. I mean helpful. And so some people try to say there's no such thing as people turning into a narcissist, you know, after a certain age. But basically, um, some people try to think that you're born that way and and that you're always that way. But they have had some people who are, um, you know, humble, nice, and normal. And then after they beaten into submission, I guess, or take a bribe or a deal or, you know, take an offer. And, and then I, and then after that offer, then they get big hit. And then, you know, they blow up on TikTok or something like that. They blow up on TikTok and or or whatever uh, Instagram or whatever social media, and become very huge, and then all of a sudden they got all these, all these followers and subscribers now, and then they think they're too good to talk to anybody, or you know you have to that they demand 
worship that you 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 got to pay them you know just to contact them So, you know, every day I get frustrated and say I give up, but then I keep, I pick myself up and just keep going. And I don't know what's driving me, <laughs> you know, but my blog is free to look at if you want to. And, you know, you do not have to donate, you, you know. But, I mean, I worked on my own to try to stay in the hotels and motels. But then when I was workplace mobbed off the jobs, the, um, you know, I was forced to go back to having to ask for money again to stay safe out of the hotels and motels because of the winter weather and it being so cold and everything. Just to try to stay safe and warm and dry from the winter weather. And so, then, you know, then being targeted and harassed and gang stalked and having weird stuff happen to me more often. When it's like they gang stalk me even more when I'm on the streets. So my my exact thoughts didn't kind of kind of didn't come out the exact way I wanted it to, but I'm still kind of feeling effects the effects of the sleep deprivation. But I guess y'all kind of get what I'm trying to say that, you know, people get, they sell out and then get big headed and act like they forgot where they came from. <laughs>